Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to be here this morning in our live service. Um, though we cannot be in church, we are just at home here. Me and my family and um, everyone that is living with us here is, is so excited to be here. Though we cannot be able to show everybody that is here. But the main thing is that you are watching us live. And um, God is about to change your life for the better. I tell you the truth. God is about to change your life for the better. Now listen. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of sound mind and of power. The spirit of fear is not our portion. Right now we are on a lockdown almost nationwide worldwide what is going through a crisis that is called coronavirus and listen to me no matter the plans of the devil over um, this world and over this nation it can never prevail because it is God's will for us that we come to pass now I pray for you that in the name of Jesus that every satanic attack to delay or to stop what God has for you through this virus that is ravaging all the earth I decree that it shall never be your portion in the name of Jesus. It shall never be your portion in the name of Jesus. Now the Bible was speaking and God was speaking to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. And God began to tell him, be not afraid, fear not, for I will be with you just like I was with Moses. God said, I will be with you. Now listen, God is with us. Despite the virus that is in town, God is still with us. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. Praise the name of Jesus. So that, that my message to you this morning is that you should banish fear from your spirit because God has not given us the spirit of fear. For those of us who are members of our church, I spoke to us last time and I talked about the lion's nature. On Sunday last week, we were in church and I was talking about the lion's nature. And um, today, um, one of the one of the, the the characteristics of a lion's nature is that a lion a lion never turns back. That is in Proverbs chapter thirty, verse thirty. The Bible says, "A lion which is strong among these." and turn it not away from any a lion is very strong and it does not turn away from any and the bible also say that jesus is the lion of the tribe of judah praise the name of jesus jesus is the lion of the tribe of judah the elder said unto um, john he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah the, the, the root of jesse has prevailed so and the Bible reckons us to be like a lion. The Bible says that the righteous, the righteous are as bold as a lion. That is Proverbs chapter 28, verse Proverbs chapter 28, um, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. The Bible says that the wicked flew it, no man persuade, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Now listen, in this period, in this coronavirus period, you got to be bold. You got to declare to yourself and tell yourself that coronavirus is not my portion disease is not my portion the bible said that when they were in egypt god did not allow the disease of the world to plague them why because they were his people you are a child of god and so plague and diseases that is befalling the world can never be your portion i tell you the truth it can never be your portion as we as we grab hold on the word of god no wonder the bible said that this book of the lord shall not depart out of your mouth you see a lion will always stand firm it's not afraid and will always stand firm. And if the Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion, that is one of the prayers that the disciples they prayed. They prayed that prayer in Acts chapter 4. The Bible says they say that God give thy servant boldness that they might declare the gospel. So boldness is part of our DNA. It's part of our DNA. You don't need to be afraid. Fear and faith comes by comes by um, by by um, belief. If you if you if you have faith it means that you believe the truth if you have fear it means that you believe assumption you believe the fact which is not the truth if you have faith it means that you believe the truth and the Bible says, Jesus I am the way the truth and the life that means that you believe in Jesus if you have faith faith only comes from the Word of God now any other thing will only bring fear to you now there are too many messages passing on from whatsapp to facebook to different social media about this coronavirus of a thing now listen to me it's not your portion somebody says it's not my portion in the name of jesus it's not your portion coronavirus is not your portion so fear not it will not come near you it will not come near your dwelling place it will not come near your family it will not come near all that concerns you in the name of jesus because god's covering is upon your life he said he shall give his angels to cover thee. they will be a deep fort or they will be a deep up in their wings in other words calamity will not be for us in the name of jesus now that does not um, negate the fact that we should stay safe and stay at home 
and then the face and then keep a very hygienic um, environment hygiene environment um, and make sure that everywhere around you is clean and also wash and clean your hands that that is part of um, what you should do while you are at home but listen to me don't allow fear to grip your life are you are you watching me right now don't allow fear to grip you in the name of jesus because god is on your side the devil cannot fail the devil cannot put what god said in your life and put it be, you know bring it um uh, counter what god has said concerning your destiny that's what i try to say the devil cannot counter what god has said concerning your destiny what god has said in your life will come to pass jeremiah said that my thought was you thought of peace so in this moment god said i will give you peace are you listening to me god said i will give you peace and that peace passes all understanding praise the name of jesus and i wish and i pray for you and your family that god will keep you safe wherever you are god will god will um he will guide you like the bible says that he that dwells in psalm chapter 91 he that dwells in the sacred place of the most i shall abide under the shadow of the almighty it's just a reminder i've said this before you know that god will always protect his own so don't be afraid god has not given you that spirit of fear fear is not your portion don't be afraid you see all these people that are spreading bad news don't read them don't don't listen to them the bible says that jesus said that in luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring you the good news the good news which is the gospel god does not bring bad news bad news is not a portion so stay away from bad news stay away from negative information some of them are very very untrue they are not true they are false stay away from them they can only put fear in you stay with the word of god and that word will produce faith in you and with faith you can conquer all things you can conquer all fear you can do great things praise the name of jesus i like to pray for you right now you and your family that is watching me right now from your houses from whatsoever you're watching from from whatsapp from facebook from youtube i pray for you right now that in the name of jesus the lord will uphold you in the name of jesus the lord will uphold your family the lord will uphold all that concerns you in the name of jesus no weapon fashioned against you via, via disease or virus shall prosper in your life. In the name of Jesus. Even in this season, God will still be blessing you. Everything that God has said concerning your life, He will bring it to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your life can never remain the same. I speak to your life. I prophesy to somebody here. You are having sickness in your body. I command it to be healed. I command it to be healed. I command it to be delivered. I see somebody you are having um, a nightmare. You are having an attack in your dream. I command that attack to die. It will go back to where it's coming from. In the name of Jesus. God has not given you that kind of a dream. God gives good dream. And even if he gives bad dream, he gives it for a purpose so that we can pray about it and uproot it from its roots. So today I decree every negative dream over your life that is tormenting you in your sleep. I decree that from today you shall see it no more. In the name of Jesus. No more negativity in your life. This period you will not hear bad news. In the name of Jesus. I decree upon your life that you are blessed and you are favored. The Lord is with you. No evil shall befall you. In Jesus' precious name. Can we lift up our hands one more time and just praise Him and give Him all the glory and give Him all the praise for all that God has done this morning in our live service all that god have done this morning in our live service let's give him all the glory let's give him all the praise so excited this morning to be in god's presence we bless him we give him all the glory thank you heavenly father there is none like you in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen now listen if you are watching us from online you're watching us as a member of our church get ready something new is about to happen we'll continue to stay at home until the coronavirus is over but right but definitely you'll be hearing from us here from our home we are having this church from our home everybody's here but you can't see them the cameraman and everybody's here you can't see them but all the same we want to appreciate you for tuning in and we pray that god will keep you safe and bless you in the mighty name of jesus all right until we meet again um make sure that you stay safe and stay blessed the lord bless you keep your family in the name of jesus the lord bless you Thank you for fellowshipping with us online. We hope to see you on Wednesday.